In this video, we're going to go ahead and install Python, and we're going to go ahead and install PyCharm. And the good news is these are fairly straight installs, which is what I always like. So first, we're going to go ahead and install Python. And so you have to go to their site. I'll put this link in the description of this video. And you're just going to go to Downloads, and you're going to go ahead and download the version of Python that appears for Windows. And don't worry so much about the version. If you have an older version or a newer version, no big deal. The code that we will be doing in this series will be fully compliant with whatever version you are using. So go ahead and download that. And once you are done, we'll just go ahead and double click this now. And as I said, this is a straightforward install. So we're just going to hit Install Now and you can go ahead and just hit whatever prompts you get and there we go the setup was successful as i said very very easy to use so let's go ahead and close this now what i want to show you is the ide that python supplies that you can use if you want to you don't necessarily have to use pycharm i definitely recommend that you do but you can also use the ide that python supplies and it's right here if you go to the start menu you hit python and let's just go ahead and fire that up and there you can see here is idle and it's just a very basic IDE but you can enter in Python code and execute it very quickly using this IDE but again I don't use this too often I think the most popular one is definitely PyCharm and so now what I want you to do is go ahead and install PyCharm but first of course you have to download it here's the website again I will put the link in the description of this video so once you get that downloaded go ahead and kick off your PyCharm install and then you can go ahead and just pick an install location and whatever install options you want. Again, this is a very straightforward install. Okay, and once the install completes, you're just going to go ahead and hit this checkbox right here. So we can fire up PyCharm. And we'll, of course, accept the user agreement. And I don't usually send usage statistics. And I'm just going to go ahead and skip remaining and set defaults. Okay, so in the next video, when we actually start coding for the first time, we'll talk about projects and this scratches and consoles. But for now, what we're going to do is go ahead and I'm just going to show you some of the settings that I use. Now, you can just keep these default settings or you can use the same ones that I'm using. Now, the default is this Darkula. I usually actually use the high contrast. That's the one that I prefer to use. But again, you can use what you like. And then what we're going to do is go ahead and look at the editor and we're going to take a look at font and the font that I like to use is this source code pro that's the one I like to use and usually I set this to 14 and then let's just hit apply and OK to that and there you can see we're good to go so I will see you in the next video where we'll start looking at Python code